Hey guys, so you want a fast bonsai? Let's go from this to this. If you want a bonsai like this that'll do about 140 kilometers per hour, follow everything I do in this video and you won't regret it. It's dirt cheap, let's go. I'll have a link in the description of this video of all the parts I use so you can build one exactly the same as I do and get the speed I do as well. The zip ties, servo mounts and the tape, we won't be needing them, put them in the bin. We'll need two of these 9 gram Hextronic servos, a Turnergy 40 amp flush speed controller and this, the Turnergy D2826-6 2200 kilovolt brushless motor. With a prop saver, this combination is my secret key to speed. A 6x4 prop, there's two examples here, the cheaper one's an APC style, we'll be using the carbon fibre one. You'll need some gold wire connectors, which I've already soldered to the speed controller, as I have with the XT60 connector to match my LiPo batteries. First thing we have to do is drill out the holes on the engine mount to fit the 3mm bolts. Next thing we have to do is just file down these little lips on the engine mount just so when I put the nuts on the bolts the nuts can spin freely enough to be able to do up tightly. So just easing it away, careful not to take too much otherwise I'll weaken the engine mount. Once that's done let's mount the engine and nip up each bolt nice and tight. Okay, now the engine's nice and tightly on there. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, mount our servos. Okay, so what I'll be doing with these servos is I'll just be pushing them through and then just uh, hot gluing them in, just like I did on this other bonsai here. Then I'll just grab the hot glue gun here. And I'll simply just glue around the edges. A little bit much there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little slit through the foam just to tuck the wiring into the foam to give it a bit more aerodynamics. So I'll use my finger as a depth guide. Just tuck the wiring in. It won't go all the way in first pass. But you just work it and you'll get it. So I'm just using the blunt edge here of the uh, hobby knife just to kind of work the lead into the foam just to get it below the surface. I will have to drill out a hole on my control horn here just to fit the, uh, the control rod there. Go. nice and snug. We'll temporarily put the control horns and the rods on the servos as we'll centre the servos later when we power up the model. For some reason my bonsai came without the little grub screws here so luckily I have a few spares so I'll be using them. 
So to power my Bonsai, I use a 3-cell 1300 milliamp uh, 65C LiPo battery. But uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit big for the nose here. So what I do is I remove the wood here, and then I just burn around here with the soldering iron just till it's a little bit counter sunk into the foam and I hold it on with the zip tie and I'll show you how I do that now. So I actually have two soldering irons, one for soldering and one for melting foam. You don't really want to be doing much soldering after dirtying the tip. And you don't really want to go too deep. Probably not even as deep as the uh, factory hole here because uh, the deeper you go, the more foam you've lost and the structure just becomes weak. So I'm just going to be edging around here just to make the hole a bit bigger for the battery. As you can see, you don't really need to touch much. I like to go right up to this uh, carbon fibre spar here. And with the rest of my running gear, it tends to make it the centre of gravity uh, pretty good. So as I mount the LiPo with zip ties, I've pushed through a small drill piece directly through the slots of the FPV mount as they will act as reinforcement to stop the zip tie tearing through the foam. Then also be sure to tuck the balance lead under the zip tie just for a bit of extra aerodynamics. It's also a good time to test fit the nose guard so I'm going to cut it in half and that way I'll have a spare. Once I'm happy with the size, I'll glue it in place while the battery's in position, just to get the right fitment. I've melted away some of the foam with the soldering iron to fit the receiver. I'll also be cutting some little slits with the hobby knife for the receiver aerials. We're ready to glue in the receiver and the speed controller. I've built quite a few bonsais now, so I know exactly where I need my hardware for the correct centre of gravity or slightly nose heavy. So if you know what order to plug the engine in, plug it in and then glue them in place with the hot glue gun. And while you've got that, it's a good idea to put a drop of glue on the end of the engine bolts just to make sure they can't vibrate loose. Glue a magnet onto the connector and onto the speed controller. That way it will all be tucked away nicely and not causing any drag. So now to tuck the receiver wires into the body, I'm just gonna put a tiny slit along the foam and tuck the aerials in. So at this stage we're pretty much done. Uh, all we've got to do is glue the winglets on and then set up the radio gear. So here I'll be setting both elevators with about two degrees of elevation and then I can trim the uh, plane from there. Up, up is up. With a quick test of the engine and the control surfaces, it's making sure the direction of travel is correct and the amount of throw is the recommended amount. Fit the propeller, then sit back and admire what you've just created up the skies at a lightning speed. If you have any better bonsai set up or any questions leave a comment and while you're at it give us a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching.